Welcome to Kyle Field, home to the Texas A&M Aggies, a unique and special environment in college football. This crowd coming together to make up the 12th man, trying to make it very difficult for any opponent. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the 10th ranked team, the Texas A&M Aggies. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Aggies will kick this away and start us off. Returner looking to create better field position. Will be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. The Longhorns offense is up first today. Well, Kirk, you can just feel the emotion, the intensity in this rivalry game right now. Well, one thing we know is you work year-round for a rivalry game, and now it's right before your eyes. Let's see how these guys play today. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Well, I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. To throw, it's yours. Fires it to the wideout. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They stop him at the 47, but that's enough for a first down. Boy, when you get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, you got to cash in on it. And this Texas receiver makes a great play to be able to come up with a big gain. This defense cannot just load up on the run game in a quarterback and leave these receivers one-on-one. -on -one. Longhorns hustle to the line to run the hurry up. We'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Defense makes the stop after a five-yard gain, so second and five. Well, Kirk, no surprise to get these two teams on the field, and it's tight and competitive right to the finish. Well, Chris, the last time these two teams met, remember, it came down to the wire, the very final few minutes. Sure hope we get another one like that today. The game makes it second and medium. And now the running back's got it again. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Pick up the first down through the air. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Well, a touchdown to a wide open man. Kirk, what in the world was going on the defensive side of that play? Wow, what was the defense thinking here? You can't let a player roam free like that. They just completely forgot about him and gifted him a touchdown. And they get set now to try the BAT. And the BAT makes it 7 0. That makes the score. Texas 7. Texas A. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. The Aggies offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. And, of course, in this game, Kirk, the spotlight shining on these wide receivers. Each team has a really dynamic playmaker out there. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. These two wide receivers are the kind of players that if you can get the ball into their hands, great things will happen. Who has the better day today will be the team that wins this football game. Well, a lot of times you match up a wide receiver, you get a linebacker on him. You'd like to think that the wide receiver can shake him. 
But this linebacker is really athletic and is able to make plays in space. Short loss on the play sets up second and long from the 18. Back to pass. It's Reed. Quick throw to the left. And it's complete downfield. Tackle made after a solid game to spot the ball to the one. I feel like this quarterback can make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork. A throw route against zone. And the quarterback, the only thing, is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. A new set of downs after that completion. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And the tackle is made. Not the big play they were looking for, but a pretty solid game. Good time here to drop this screen in for the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. Important third down play coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Grab near the sticks. It's Allen. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. This Texas A&M offense is moving quickly down the field. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. He is a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the cornerback gets him. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Looks like he's going to run it. What down at the 40. That'll be a first down. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. Texas A&M getting set with a first and 10 now. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Well, Kirk, you played in rivalry games. No shortage of inspiration, but how do you manage the emotion of it all? Well, I think you need great leadership from the team. Sometimes teams don't handle the emotions of it, and the game can get sideways on you. The teams that play the best in rivalry games are the teams that have the best leaders to keep them focused on the task at hand. Dropping back, it's Reed. Oh, it's incomplete, a rare drop from an excellent wide receiver. Brings up third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they Number opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So they'll send out the field goal unit to give it a shot here from very long distance. A long distance bomb. It's good from 57 out. Boy, this guy had plenty of left here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. Out there again, 
hand to boot it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? On the run here, lets it go. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Chris, as this game evolves every year with college football, and we see more and more versions of some kind of spread offense. It puts so much pressure on this linebacker position because they're asked to do so much. This linebacker is able to sit back in zone, be comfortable in space, make the right read, and be able to be in place to knock the ball away. But they tackle him after just a two-yard gain, so it sets up a third and eight. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Helm. Tackle made of the 41. That's a nice gain getting closer to midfield. That's a great feeling when your quarterback can make a throw that keeps the drive alive. Not as good as a touchdown, but it's a lot better than having to trot over to the sideline waiting for your turn to get another chance. Longhorns hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Receiver in motion now. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he's going to float this one to the right side. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Well, it's an incompletion here. But I bet this secondary is going to play a little bit deeper just to make sure they don't get hit on any deep throws later in this game. Incompletion makes it second down. Offense will keep it on the ground here. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. Hand off to the right side. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the mark. Fourth down now. The Longhorns will send their punt team onto the field. Well, lands at the five. It doesn't check up. Bounces into the end zone for a touchback. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Tackle made after a big game. Well, this is what you see all over college football and even up, obviously, in the NFL. These tight ends are really recruited as big receivers, and they can get one-on-one -on -one matchups and they've got speed after the catch. This is a short throw. You can see what he does after the catch, and he is a tough matchup for whether it's a safety, a nickel, or a linebacker. On the ground, it's Moss powering through. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense going on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. To the air. It's Reed. After a lot of time to scan the field, fires this one to the right. 
They finally will bring him down, but he makes it inside the 15-yard line. First down in great scoring position. That's a great play by this offense to keep the drive alive and a good find by the quarterback on third down. The Aggies hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. And they hand it off to the back. And they finally stop it, but a decent game that time. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. There's the handoff. Oh, look at the quick cut. And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And the Aggies will line up here on first down and goal. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. And that's a solid return after the interception. Oh, how I love when this happens. The big dog up front is working hard and snatched his opportunity. Good for him. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Forced to punt last time, trying to add points, build the lead right here. The pass rush closing in. Punt over the middle. It's Bond. They bring him down, but a solid gain there on first down. Looks to be just inches short of the marker. One thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. A second down after that completion. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Caught near the sticks, it's blue. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Boy, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. pass on the jet sweep they got him down out near the 40 in a jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense you get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill but when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays offense getting set second down play here looking for a gap it's blue Fighting off the defender. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Longhorns keep the football on the move. Off the play fake on first down. Makes the grab. It's blue. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Pass caught. Second down now. Now they run the draw play. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it incorrectly. Longhorns line up on first and ten now. It's the wide receiver coming in motion now. And then first down, right back to the running game. 
That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Now it's second down here. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. We've got an exciting quarterback duel in the making here as we check the first quarter stats. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Play action here on first down. Looking right, this one caught. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. This defense has got to do a better job in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, and this offense could have 50 on you by the end of this game. The drive stays alive with that first down completion. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Running out of time in the pocket. This throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Well, everybody talks about sacks, and they're very important. But sometimes just the rush, the pressure affecting the quarterback is just as effective. He didn't have a clean throwing lane, and they forced the incompletion. Offense getting set. It's second down. Dropping back. It's yours. Receiver makes the catch. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain in that completion. to throw again fires it to the wide out intercepted picked off on the defense he will be taken down but after a good return really nice job of mixing up the looks here by this defense sometimes man sometimes zone they fool the quarterback here completely and he throws the pick Aggies offense back on the field. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. Grab down the middle. It's Watson. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Love to see an aggressive mindset following sudden change. The quick strike here. The defense barely has a chance to even get set up and get established before they have to deal with a big shot taken over their head. The Aggie has come to the line to run the hurry up. Gonna run it. It's Daniels. Nice run. He's brought out of the 44. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Takes the ball and heads to the left. Oh, what a move. Goes right through the tackle. He's got room to run now. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. Looking to throw it on first down. Finds his man. It's green. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. 
Chris, how about the offensive balance these last couple plays we're seeing from these guys? Not only are they balanced, but the explosiveness. A big run followed up by a big play through the air and puts a lot of pressure on this defense. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. Trying to run, it's Daniels. It's good for a three-yard game, so second and seven. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he's finally tackled out at the two-yard line. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. And the Aggies looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Texas A&M. But that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The PAT puts him up three. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last possession ended in a dreaded red zone interception. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly error. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Caught by the receiver. Gain of seven. Brings up second down. Here's the second down play. Back to throw. It's yours. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. Oh, and it's nearly intercepted, but dropped by an excellent defensive player. It's going to bring a third down. Boy, oh boy, Chris, this quarterback is getting way too loose with the football. He's already thrown an interception on the last series, almost has another one here. He's got to start taking better care of the football. On the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And the junior able to get home with the sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. The Longhorns will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. Trying to build on a beautiful, balanced touchdown trot. Last time they had it. Hand off here from the shotgun. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. 
Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. The loss sets up a second and long from the 20. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Caught over the middle. It's Watson. And they bring him down after a solid game, but it's still well short of the first down marker. I mean, we're not even to halftime yet, and I don't think this guy wants to take a break once we get to the half. That's his fifth catch and counting. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Looking to pass. It's Reed. Pressure is coming. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Good pressure here by this defense, but it felt like the quarterback held on to the ball a little bit too long to come up with that sack for the D. The Aggies will have to Number kick it away. That's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. Oh, and he's got some space here. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. The Longhorns offense takes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Breaks loose at the 45. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Tackled at the one-yard line. Couldn't quite get in, but an excellent run. Chris, how about that? This guy is a blur with a football in his hands. He gets one block out in front of him, and it seems like he's setting a new speed barrier. So following the quick lightning strike, they're set up here first and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. The junior able to bring him down quickly. That's a second and goal play for the offense. Try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point makes the lead four. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Makes a quick grab. Even surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Short completion there, second down coming up. On the run, it's Moss. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Dropping back, it's Reed. 
He's running out of time here. Short pass finds the tight end. Solid gain the moves the ball out to the 32. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. On first down, it's play action. Bringing pressure. Throws the ball away, but not before taking a hit. And I talk to defensive coordinators all over the country, and they're quick to point out the term affecting the quarterback. They, they, they kind of almost get offended when you want to talk to him about sacks. Sometimes it's just about getting into his face, affecting his vision. It's exactly what they did right here. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Gets rid of it on the move. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Grab behind the line. It's fun. They stop him after a six-yard gain. So second and four. Second and Longhorns look at a cash in in the red zone. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. the spin move they make the stop but not before a solid gain that time oh, I love it keep the kicker on the sideline this offense knows when you're in the red zone you got to come away with six great play to keep this drive moving Longhorns come to the line with first and goal offense moving receivers around now before the snap first and goal handoff able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Chris down here inside the 10 yard line. These are tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Second down and goal. And off inside looking for the touchdown. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. The extra point is good, so it's 21-10. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. They make the tackle, but not for free. A solid gain on that pass. Brings up 
second down after that run on the previous play. Handoff to the back. Tackle right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. I tell you, this running back from Texas A&M is dangerous when he has room to work. Great speed, good job of picking up the first down. And Chris, you just think about some of the backs that they've had when they've had a chance to put that Texas A&M uniform on. Dante Hall, some people forget, was a Texas A&M running back. Devon H.A., and of course, more recently, and even Isaiah Spiller. Good, tough blend of toughness. And, and a sophomore making an impact play. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. This big guy's up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. Using his legs, it's Moss. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Looking downfield, it's Reed. Oh, and he dropped it. You don't see that offer from this guy. Brings up fourth down. Now that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down and makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. And the Aggies bring their punt team onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. We've reached the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. First down. We're going to throw the football. Snags the quick throw. You see more and more offenses in college football going with three receivers, and the slot receiver a lot of times can become the go-to guy. He gets mismatches against either safeties, a nickelback, or a linebacker walked out, and you can take advantage of it. Second down play coming up. And the quarterback dropping back. Grab down the middle. It's golden. Tackles made, but not before he makes the 43-yard line. This drive is going now. Well, you could tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. First down and 10 now. Quarterback drops back. Grab behind the line. It's Helm. Defense reacts quickly. A very short game on the play. Second down after that short completion. Here's the snap. And he's looking to throw. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Dropping back. It's yours. Looks to the left for a quick throw. And he's got it. The first down pickup tackled at the 45. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offense. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards. The Longhorns begin a new series here, first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Makes the catch. It's blue. And he runs out of bounds there to avoid the contact and take the loss. Second down. 
Second down play coming up for this offense. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. The pass is intercepted. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. At the 30 now. At the 10 now. Touchdown. AM. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. And the interception taken to the house. A pick six. Potential game-changing play there. Man, nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose. Now the important point after attempts. PAT is good. They still trail, though. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Gets it to the 25-yard line. And that's where they'll start the drive. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Using his legs, it's blue. And the one moves the ball up to the 33. He's brought down at the 33. Second down coming up. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, think of all the big-time players who've been a part of this game. And we have a few more vying for that status so far today in an always emotional duel between the Longhorns and the Aggies. And it's been a clinic in fundamental defensive football. Both teams have been relentless and ball hawking, refusing to give an inch. This is the kind of slugfest that real football fans love. Crushing tackles and dudes flying into gaps and passing lanes. A testament to the discipline both of these teams have shown. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Texas A&M and Texas plays out. Looks like they'll try to make a play with the return. And the coverage team gets the return into the ground. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's green. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. Pass complete. It's second down now. Back to throw. It's Reed. And it falls incomplete. The defensive pressure hurried the throw that time. It's pretty simple as a defensive coordinator. When a quarterback drops back to throw, if we get pressure on him, we got a chance to slow him down and win the football game. If we don't, it could be a long afternoon. Good job here by dialing up the pressure. After the incompletion, the lineup here for a third and seven. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And it's incomplete again. Fourth down coming up. Great job by this defense once again on that third down. And now we get to fourth down. And you start to think about things here as we get into the second half, Chris. I don't, you go for it, you make it, everybody's happy. If you go for it on fourth down and you don't get it, now you're giving your opponent the football in pretty good field position. No kick it away here. With the return, it's Bolden. You finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. The completion makes it second and short. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. 
Caught behind the line. It's Helm. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Man, the defense, great job. They win this battle. Trying to contain the tight end with passing game can be very difficult in today's game. But they did it in a big way there. It's third down for the offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. A nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Oof, the risk of throwing on third and short. Lots of second guessing going over on that sideline about that play call. You got to wonder if they're going to go for it anyway on fourth down, but what will be the play call? Juan Warns will come to the line on fourth down looking to convert. Trying for a fourth down completion. The pocket breaking down. He's going to take off. He's not going to get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. And we're going to throw now on first down. Grab down the middle. It's Allen. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Scanning the field. It's Reed. No connection there. The pass is incomplete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And they heave it deep downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown, Aggies. That puts them on top in the second half. Looks like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback size must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT puts them up three. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Now he comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last time they went forward on fourth down, didn't get it, and it ended up costing them six points. And they bounce back here. Second down after that previous play. To the air. It's yours. Quick throw to the left. He makes the grab. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback, this is the kind of route that defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception and maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. The RPO caught to the right. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Wow, they get positive yards here. But they have a sense that they wanted a little bit more with that pitch and catch. Second down after that run on the previous play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Helm. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. So a positive play Kirk, with the crossing line. This is the defensive communication the coaches were worried about in this game. Yeah, it really is a challenge in this call. When the offense goes with that deep crosser, the defense has to do a good job.
job of communicating, really keeping their head on a swivel to understand who's coming into their zone. That time they just lost the receiver and they gave up a big game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Longhorns will have to kick this away. Oh, and it lands at the four and bounces in for a touchback. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Ball handed off. They'll tackle him at the 27. Now, throughout this game, they've shown a number of their base run plays in the first half, so it's good to mix in the counter here in the second half just in case the defense is starting to over-pursue. Keep an eye on if they pull that play again maybe later in this game. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. They'll try to run for the first down. Looks like Texas A&M will have the first down. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Well, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right there picks up a first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. Back to pass. It's Reed. Makes a quick catch. And they get him down after the completion. Important second down play coming up. He hands it to the back. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call. And they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. The pass rush closing in. Able to get the pass away, but took a hit that time. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's Number eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. Running it back, it's Bolden. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Last drive stalled with the force to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. It's a shotgun run call. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Touchdown, Longhorns. Still no answer for this offense. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. They're setting out to try the PAT. And they knock through the PAT, so it's a four-point game, 
Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Turner trying to create good field position. The Turner tackle right there. That's where they start the drive. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. Last possession, they were forced to kick it away. And they finally get things going this time. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Second down after that run on the previous play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. But they can't convert this third down. Looking to throw. It's Reed. Running back has it on a screen now. The defense stops him short of the marker in that screen. Fourth down coming up. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he could get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. The Aggies will line up to punt it away. On the kick now for the fifth time today. This one will be fair caught. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here over the defense? Come up with a stop. Caught in the backfield. It's Bond. Well executed. He finds space and gets the first down yardage. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. That completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Looking for some space. It's blue. And he will be stuffed for no gain. This guy has been all over the field today, Kirk. You talk about an inspired performance. Well, he's playing with a lot of emotion today. It's a rivalry game. He's flying around, just leaving everything he has out on that field. Getting set. Here's second down. Play action fake. Looking to throw. The sure hands. It's more. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. The catch makes it a more manageable third down. Cut quickly. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Chris, this is a great game, but I'm always so impressed with the offensive line because they sell this as much as anything. The quarterback's making the read, trying to figure out if the defense is committed to the run or the pass, and then he's going to go the other direction. He makes the right throw here out to the flat to the right, but the offensive line showing the defense it's a run look is what opens this up eventually for the nice game. Brings up second down. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Now to play fake, he'll look to throw it. Let's it go quickly. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. Work out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. The Longhorns looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. 
The defense made a good play there, but needs to string along more stops like that against this running back if they want to be able to win this game. The run game has looked good in the first half, but maybe that won't be the case from now on. Ball back at the 10-yard line now for second and goal. Looking downfield, it's yours. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. If you're going to throw the ball this close to your own goal line, you got to go to the quick game to get the ball out fast to give your quarterback a chance. Otherwise, consider running the football. Something different from sitting back and holding the ball and giving the defense a chance to come up with a big sack. Moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Grab down the middle, it's blue. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. Right down the middle. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. The turn starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's when the drive will start. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. Are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get going now. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Short loss on the play sets up second and long from the 18. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Got him, he's sacked. Chris, I really felt the quarterback came off the fake a little bit too quick. The defense didn't bite at all on the play action. They saw the quarterback had the ball, attacked, and got the sack. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. But he stopped short of the first down. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long. You drop back in coverage. Keep everything in front of you. Force that quarterback to have to check the ball down. And then you rally to the football to force this fourth down. Great job here by the D. And the Aggies will line up to kick it away. And this drive moves backwards. So he's on to punt it away. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. First play of the drive, they look to the right. And it'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Now it's second down here. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. Brought down but crosses midfield to the 46. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down. Looking for the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. 
You make the tackle, but he gains enough to make the first down in what should be the last play of the third quarter. And so far, we have been treated to a serious quarterback duel. Both these guys putting on a show so far. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Longhorns getting set on first and ten. To throw, it's yours. Caught in the flat by the running back. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Hey, they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, you kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Quarterback operating an empty set. They look to throw it here on second down. Grab behind the line. It's golden. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down mark. So now it's third and short from the 21 as this defense tries to make a stand and force a field goal attempt or a fourth down stop. Can he make it to the marker? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down. Almost pick up the first down. What it does, though, is it gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this and picking up that first down. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. And that one is no good. And after the miss, it's still a seven-point lead. Man, I thought he hit that pretty clean. Good hold by the holder. Everything looked to be the way you'd like as a kicker. He just misses it, and the ball trailed on him, and ends up hitting the upright. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's green. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Offense operating from the pistol. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. He has first down yardage at the 46. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. The tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. Offense getting set. It's second down. Trying to find some room. It's Daniels. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. It's 
So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. And he's got it with ease from 56 yards away. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Kickoff team is out. Fielded in the end zone. It's golden. Tackle at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. This running back's had a big night. Kind of night you dream about. But the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. They're behind the sticks on second and long here from the 12. Looks right for a quick completion. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Well, why not, Chris? Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's third down. This guy's been making plays all game long. Go back to him again, and it works out. Longhorns lining up here on first and ten. Looking to pass. It's yours. And he dumps it off to the tight end. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackler. A completion makes it second down. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Looking to chuck it again. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. It's a short completion at the big tight end. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The Longhorns will bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Bounce right at the three-yard line and into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. The game is five, so it's second and five now. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. 
Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The Aggies will line up to boot it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. And the returner decides to single fair catch. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Here comes a the handoff. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pad support, running over top of defenders. Just a gritty runner and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. Nice play to start the drive. They're near midfield here for first and ten. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, these are the kind of plays you have to make to be able to win the game in the second half. This back had a great first half and has gotten plenty of touches, so you've got to make sure this half is different than how things have gone so far. Here's the second down play. Going to run it. It's blue. Getting close to midfield now. They bring it down to the 47. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Fires it to the wideout. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. It brings up fourth down. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down, but look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now, fourth down and long with the lead. Tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. It looks like no return here as that punt heads out of bounds. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Caught over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's tackled after the catch. That completion sets up a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Reed. Going for a big play downfield. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. And now it's third down. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Grab down the middle. It's Allen. Right out of the 47, and that will move the sticks. What an impressive job here by this quarterback to work through his progressions, had the time to be able to read the defense properly, and then eventually finds the underneath route for a first down. Texas A&M getting set with a first and 10 now. And they'll give it to the back. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. Second down play coming up. They'll give it to the back. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Touchdown, Texas A&M. They jump in front here in the fourth. 
Well, this is why they love this guy so much, is when it's crunch time, he makes plays like this. And what I love is the quarterback knows all I got to do is get the ball in his hands, and he can do the rest of the work and get it all the way to the end zone. Great play. Now an important PAT to stretch the lead to a field goal. Kick is up and good. They go up by three here in the fourth quarter. Can they hang on? Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. And he stopped at the 18. Returner tried to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Stop after a small gain. Now look at it, second and nine. to throw it's yours looks over the middle and that's complete to get him down quickly not much of a gain by completion the quarterback looks downfield to make this throw he wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down but instead he gets the ball at least underneath to the track route and get some positive yards one of the biggest plays we've had so far Third down and the crowd really getting into it here's the snap quarterback looking to throw He'll take a deep shot here. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Most offensive coaches, they're going to be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man. And I'm curious to see if they're going to test this defensive back again because of the excellent coverage he's having out there. Longhorns will have to punt this one away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. Turner is tackled by this one coverage team. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Grab behind the line, it's Barber. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down to the 42. Well, how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. I think the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. They'll work the clock here with the running game. He's tackled just short of the midfield line at the 49. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. Second down play coming up for this offense. Single back takes the handoff. The junior able to bring him down quickly. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you have to believe we see a timeout. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Allen. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, AM. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go, like their odds of closing this game out.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And the kickoff will be returned. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Longhorns offense takes the field. Last time it was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. It's scanning the field. It's yours. Final minutes here. They'll throw it deep downfield. And the pass is dropped in complete, but it had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Running out of time in the pocket. Nice grab. It's Bond. Defense wraps him up after a six-yard gain. Brings up fourth down. You know, it's a nice completion, but it's, it's kind of another short game. Defense is keeping everything in front. I think the offensive coordinator's got to find a way to take some vertical shots to get some chunk plays. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. This crowd looking for a big fourth down stop. Finds this receiver. That's enough for the first down. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. The Longhorns will line up on first and ten. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And the clock winding down. They'll take a deep shot. And the catch is made way downfield. That's a big game, but he could have used that when this football game was still in doubt. This Number offense zero. has done what's been asked of them. They get the touchdown. Now it comes down to can you recover the onside kick to give yourself a shot? See if they can convert the point after. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. That makes the score. Texas A&M, 41. Texas, 38. I believe they're going to line up here and go for the onside kick. Receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. 